Now let's look at the mandatory inputs, tools, and outputs of approve, estimate, and commit user stories process. The mandatory inputs are Scrum Core Team, user stories, and user story acceptance criteria. For detailed explanation of these inputs, please refer to the discussion on these in the Create User Stories process. The tool that is to be mandatorily used as part of this process is User Group Meetings. For a detailed explanation of this tool, please refer to the discussion on it in the Create User Stories process. The mandatory output of this process is approved, estimated, and committed user stories. The user stories which are input to this process have high-level estimates which are used by the product owner to approve user stories for the sprint. Once approved, the user stories are estimated by the team. After estimation, the team commits to a subset of approved and estimated user stories that they can complete in the next sprint. These user stories are the approved, estimated, and committed user stories which will become part of the sprint backlog. Although the product owner approves the initial user stories for a sprint, the final decision about which specific user stories, among those approved by the product owner, should be chosen for the sprint lies with the Scrum team. The Scrum team, in consultation with the product owner if required, finalizes which user stories they will be working on during the sprint. Now let's discuss the mandatory inputs, tools, and outputs of the Create Task process. The mandatory input tool and output of this process are Scrum Core Team, Task Planning Meetings, and Task List, respectively. Please refer to the discussion on the mandatory inputs of the Create User Stories process for a better understanding of Scrum Core Team. The tool that must be used mandatorily in this process is Task Planning Meetings. In task planning meetings, the Scrum team plans the work to be done in the sprint by reviewing the committed user stories at the top of the prioritized product backlog. The product owner is present during this meeting to clear ambiguities related to user stories in the prioritized product backlog. This meeting should be time-boxed, with the standard length limited to two hours per week of sprint duration. This assists in preventing the tendency to stray into discussions that should actually occur in other meetings like the release planning or sprint review meetings. By the end of the meeting, the entire Scrum team will have fully committed to deliver a subset of user stories from the prioritized product backlog in the sprint. The task planning meetings may, at times, be referred to as sprint planning meetings or task estimation meetings. The mandatory output of this process is task list. The task list is a comprehensive list that contains all the tasks to which the Scrum team has committed for the current sprint. It contains descriptions of each task along with estimates derived during the create tasks process. The task list must include any testing and integration efforts so that the product increment from the sprint can be successfully integrated into the deliverables from previous sprints. Even though tasks are often activity-based, the level of granularity to which the tasks are decomposed is decided by the Scrum team.